What's up YouTube? This is Mad Mike Trucking here. Want to make a video about what is the best way to learn how to back a tractor trailer, how to understand backing mechanics. I used to be a driver trainer when I was over the road for a year and a half and there's this little trick that I used to use to help my brand new students understand the mechanics of exactly what is going on whenever you're backing up a tractor trailer. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Before we get started though, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you get my future videos. And please share my videos, you never know, this might help you or one of your friends learn something, learn something about the oil field, learn something about oil field jobs truck driving in general you never know I, I like to do videos about once uh, every other day I've been busy the last couple of days I apologize for that so the trick that I used to use with my students you know because when you're sitting in this driver's seat it's hard to understand the reverse of what is going on with the trailer back there because you're not actually seeing it and a lot of the times whenever you're with a new driver trainer or an old driver trainer sorry there's a fly flying around my head their goal is to get as much miles as much revenue as possible and they aren't financially incentivized to take that time especially at the mega carriers where they're getting paid mileage you know they don't want to take the time to allow you go through the motions of learning how to back a truck so most of the time you're only going to get maybe two or three times out of the whole time that you're on the trainer's truck where you have a good opportunity to learn how to back and that's not enough that's not enough for you to get the mechanics down and build that uh, subconscious memory and you know learn how to do it so what I would do with my students is I would go to the truck stops. Everybody's seen them. They're like 20 bucks, those little die cast tractor trailer models, okay? You get one of those. What you want to do is you want to practice, just get it out at the table at one of the diners at the truck stop or at your home and get out some obstacles, some salt and pepper shakers and stuff like that and it's called fixed reference point or you know treat it like it's the tractor trailer that's next to you that you're backing into an actual space create an actual space on the table that you're going to back that truck into that space and practice actually voicing if I turn the steering wheel this way, it's going to turn the tractor in this direction, which the rear of the tractor, my fifth wheel, is going to push the front of the trailer in this direction. And so this is what's going to happen. If I push the front of the trailer in this direction, it's going to do this to the back of the trailer. Okay? Very important concept. So if you practice it from that perspective it allows you in your mind to understand when you're sitting in this driver's seat exactly what's going on whenever you turn the steering wheel in a certain direction also you need to practice this with several different scenarios practice it doing a 45 degree setup practice it with space where you're trying to you know do a pull forward and how to close the gap on, a, on one side and get the trailer to move over to the other side, you know, to get closer to that truck on your passenger or your driver's side. And also, you can use this same concept to understand, hey, how to drag my tandems over to where I'm pulling through into a spot and clearing certain obstacles, okay? Now, that being said, there's another concept that I'd like to put out there. It's called a 4x4. If you're trying to learn how to back, a 4x4 is a truck driver's best friend. Whenever you're in a location, for example, I'm at a pilot truck stop right now. I'll turn the camera around so y'all can see what I'm talking about. 
right here I've got a truck right next to me and I've got a truck these guys do this all the time in the oil field to park right in front of you and so I'm in a stretch frame Peterbilt it's very horrible turning radius on it so sometimes you're gonna have to do some work and to get that truck parked into the a spot like this you know so whenever you do your setup I could sit there and pull as straightforward as possible to start angling my trailer into this spot okay and then whenever I get to where that truck is in front of me and I need to work my tractor to get it straight you can do what's called a 4x4 basically what a 4x4 is if you've got your truck okay and you're doing a driver's side back and the tractor is you know at an angle compared to the trailer and you want to get that truck straight with the trailer but there's not very much room in front of your space for every foot that you back up you know I'm turning the steering wheel and I'm trying to get straight with the truck if I pull forward that exact same distance my trailer is not gonna sit there and continue to turn okay so I can literally rotate the tractor all the way around the front of the trailer and that's gonna allow me to be able to maneuver my truck with my trailer already back partially into the space I can maneuver my truck all the way around the trailer you know it's a very important concept for you to understand practice it when you're out there backing you never know it might help you guys out in my next video I'm going to be talking about what I personally think based on being a truck driver for five years what are the best ways to get paid in the trucking industry you know the t best types of jobs that have the most money you never know that video might help out one of your friends so make sure you share this video share my next video as well you guys have a god blessed day make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel thank you